This is a short clip just showing how you can connect your board to a motor and activate it. We've got a simple program start. If you press PTM1, G0, which is connected to your transistor, which will be connected to a relay, and that'll activate a motor. Um, and then after two seconds, it goes low. So if we look at the image here, we've got our board, which has got the power cable in it at the moment. We've got a motor, we've got some batteries. We have a relay and some cables. Uh, the idea is that we're gonna, first of all, look at the board. We've got the output section just here. If you look in between those two pads, it says output. And we need to connect to prop clips to those. There we go. We're going to connect it to this device, which is a relay. Now a relay uh, is a low powered device, which can connect to a high powered circuit. The idea is that one independent circuit can activate another circuit. And it does it through a switch, but the switch is controlled through an electromagnet. So I'm going to connect those two crop clips, these two, to my relay. Excellent. Now, let's see if it works. So, can you hear that? That's the relay switching on and off. Just do it once more. That little tick was the electromagnet switching off. So, if I now connect one pad to some crop clips and I connect that to battery. I just want you to be able to see this a bit better. Okay, so output to the relay, one crop clip to one side of the battery. This special Lego wire to the other side of the battery and I'm sure many of you know that this can connect directly into and the idea is that this electromagnet inside the relay in this box here is creating a circuit and so we're using the power from the battery to drive this motor but the switch how we switch the circuit on and off is within the relay itself and is controlled by our microcontroller. So let's have a go. There we go. We switch that on. Two seconds. Brilliant.